On 12th April 2023, CSK was batting and Dhoni was right there ready to hit a six. Now, he actually needed a six because in one ball, he needed five runs. And everyone expected Dhoni to deliver. But in this case, he did not and the team lost the match. After all this was over, Ravi Shastri, who was doing the commentary, asked Dhoni, what would you do differently? Do you think you made a mistake? To which Dhoni said, Well, you, you see the field, you see the bowler and accordingly you plan as to what the bowler's strength is, how the wicket is behaving. So accordingly, the bowler, you also look to exploit it. So, uh, you know, after that, just stand still and, you know, wait, wait for them to commit mistake. So I feel that really works for me. I'm not, I don't fancy too many things and you know, I don't do a lot of things. So I just wait for them to commit an error. If they keep bowling good areas, you know, well done to them. Now, Dhoni has been following the same plan many, many times and succeeded. Just because he failed once does not mean that the system will fail. And that's exactly what a trader should also be thinking. You may lose one or two trades, but the system won't fail over a long period of time. A lot of this is just psychology. Today, we're going to talk about two books and understand psychology so it can help you in your trading. Before we talk about the first book, give a like and a subscribe. And once you've done that, put in the comments that you have subscribed because I think we need to get that count up. We put way too much effort in all of this. The first book we're going to talk about is New Trader, Rich Trader. It actually sounds like that famous book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And it kind of has the same feel. You have a completely newbie learning trading from an actual rich, successful veteran trader. It's a fictional story aimed to answer all of your questions you have as a newbie. And you come with wrong expectations, you think money will double, etc, etc. And the rich trader basically teaches you psychology, how to think and what this career is about. So one of the important things that this um, book talks about, and you've probably heard this before, is always have a trading plan and follow that trading plan. Now, people might assume what is a trading plan. So let's assume you have a set of rules via which you want to place orders. You know where your exit is, your entry is, where your target and stop loss is and how many shares you have to buy. Now, let's suppose you have a system like that. And let's look at this chart over here of Dr. Reddy's. Now, let's suppose hypothetically in this trade, you want to buy as soon as there is a breakout. So I will draw a resistance line here. As soon as the market goes above this resistance, I have to buy because maybe that's what my strategy tells me to do. In this case, I would have bought the market came down and touched this red line. Let's also assume that our rule is to exit when it touches this moving average and it touches and we got stopped out. Now, does this mean that the strategy does not work? Because after that, when there was another breakout and you would have bought, the market actually went from this, this number here all the way here, giving a good return. The point isn't whether to buy a breakout or not. The point is, if you have a set of rules which is backtested, all you have to do is follow that plan again and again because you could lose a battle, but you won't lose the war if you follow that same plan again and again. Now, if you don't have a trading system, I think it's very important to start with some trading system, even if it's a long term one, because People talk about technical analysis online, but they don't tell us what a system really is. And we at LearnApp think zero to intermediate level education should be free and not in video like YouTube, but actual a mentor teaching you one on one. Therefore, we've democratized zero to intermediate trading education for free in something we call LearnApp Prime. You can attend this weekend, but there's a problem. We noticed most people aren't gritty and disciplined enough to actually complete the program. So we've made the application process very difficult. Fill up the form, fill it up properly. And after a few steps, you might get in. So if you are gritty, fill it up, attend the weekend and learn what a system is. All the best. Let's see the next thing over here I have. The same book talks about having a journal. Psychology is all about reflection. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to the gym and wanted to gain muscle or lose weight. The problem isn't just getting to the gym. It's actually measuring if you're going at the right time, measuring your carbs, your protein, your fat intake, your overall calories, measuring if you actually burned more calories than you took in, etc, etc. 
इन मोस्ट केसेज योर माइंड विल डिसीव यू टू सेंग यार मैं तो पूरा कर रहा हूँ बट हो ही नहीं रहा है The truth is, one of these metrics is off, and you don't even know it. It's the same in trading, because to get somewhere, you have to make sure that you're you are disciplined enough. And the only way to do that is to have a diary. Now, what do I mean by diary? Look at this. It could look something like this. You have the stock name, the type. You have the number of uh, whether it was a buy or a sell, the lots. the original entry target and loss now this is very interesting because it says original original is according to the algo according to the rule that you learned based on that mathematical rule you are deciding what the entry target and stop loss is any deviation from that rule means you will lose now when i say rule i mean exactly like going to the gym doing certain set of things so here you can see there i have the original set of entry target loss and then the actual entry target loss which will show whether you deviated or not it will also show your pnl original rr and i would recommend you add one more column where you talk about remarks were you fearful was it a problem to enter did the light go off did you miss the trade what happened documenting that will really teach you about yourself For example if you keep remarking that you keep missing a trade then don't do a shorter time frame do a longer time frame if you feel you're too fearful to place an order you're risking too much reduce that risk so these things will help you combat all your fears and make trading a breeze in summary a rich trader follows a systematic approach it talks about discipline money management and even things like continuous learning following proven systems and maintaining emotional control i also found some three interesting quotes here they are the next book is reminiscence of a stock operator it's a story on the life of jesse livermore When I was reading this, I too was trying to make trading my career, start a hedge fund, and I was going through a horrible drawdown. I thought I should find a book and get some inspiration. <laughs> and boy, I did. This guy committed suicide. <laughs> so, <laughs> but the interesting thing was, he started by working in bucket shops. Bucket shops were places जहाँ पे लोग बोली लगाते थे. They used to speak. There was no, um, there was no internet back then. And this book. is exactly 100 years old i think it was published in 1923 roughly now the interesting thing about jesse livermore's life is that when he would run around the bucket shops going and picking telegrams to find out what the price of a certain stock is which means people would find out the price of a stock days after it had actually moved maybe sometimes hours after it had moved he learned to read the tape as in the ticker tape it would move he would look at prices and then plot a chart by hand do you realize how lucky you are you just go to a website and tuck you have a chart in front of you he used to plot it by hand find a pattern and he made 100 million dollars back then and old owned his own railroad just from trading i think that's fantastic but i think jesse livermore's life is also a story about what you should not do he was a discretionary trader for example he would notice cotton prices going up he would look at the weather say prices looks like the crop isn't going to be good and then he would start to short the market he would look at different patterns of distribution because he would make charts himself and then he would start to short that market he would hold on and when the market fell when the market fell he would actually buy back and make a ton of money the problem with this kind of trading is it does not have fixed rules and unfortunately jesse livermore lost his entire fortune three times you don't have to be like that jesse may have been a fantastic stock operator well trader but you can actually be a little more systematic you don't have to be discretionary In 1929 the market crashed and a single trade he made 100 million dollars. But what's interesting about this we assume and we are trading tak 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 we make money very quickly. That's not the case. Whether you trade or invest it always takes time. For example, he said it was never my thinking that made the big money. It was always sitting and waiting. Which meant once I have a position holding on to it was the toughest part. Another thing he said was people who look for easy money pay for the privilege of proving that it cannot be found do you have a friend who said yaar paisa laga de mere ko na 50% profit chahiye those guys existed back then also 
they didn't make money back then and they won't make money in 2023 another lesson from this book is timing is everything actually i would like to change this a little bit it's not only timing it's about how you hold so what jesse would do is he would place multiple different bets and i'll call them bets on particular trades and then get stopped out if the trade didn't go in his direction but if it did he would hold on to that one trade and keep adding again and again until that trade paid for all the losses and made him a huge chunk this is why he was able to make 100 million i want to ask you if you average say 10000 rupees loss on one trade and after say a month you're able to make 50000 on a single trade and your strategy is to hold on to that would you really be able to do that you're seeing profit after such a long time and that 50000 becomes 49 48 47 51 45 but you're supposed to hold on would you be able to do it and i think that is the toughest part of trading or even investing holding on to your profits for a really long time it's tough if you have a story like this put it in the comments i'd love to know more about it now just the opposite of holding on to your winners is never hold on to your losers and jesse livermore understood this but he lost his entire 100 million fortune i think on just one single trade because he held on to a losing position did not cut it out and thought it'll bounce back has this ever happened to you it's happened to me a few times where i was holding this nifty futures long position and the market uh, went against me and i thought the market will bounce back and it wiped off profits of almost 6 months and it was really painful i'm sure this happened to you as well put in the comments and we can learn from each other in conclusion this book gives you a look into how a trader actually thinks you can see real entries by jesse livermore you learn about stock prices their movement his strategy how to write a diary you'll even learn how it feels to make a ton of money and then lose it and what he goes through psychologically so do read the book so those were the two books if you have read any other book that you like put a summary in the comments below there are a lot of people over here who can learn from you and we'll also reply guaranteed and give a like give a subscribe i think we deserve that and you've watched it till the end haven't you if you want to know about other books we've done this video do check it out and we have this really nice series on the your relationship with money actually guests relationship with money called money and me podcast check that out as well and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video